Hey everybody, welcome back to Vanland. Today we are doing an uh, install of an Arctic Turn skylight on the van here. So we wanted to bring you guys along and show you this product. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what is the Arctic Turn skylight uh, and why would you use one? Um, then we'll go over the individual features that are part of the products. We'll actually take you through the full install so you can see how that's done. And then we'll wrap it up with an overall impression of the Turn skylight. All right, so actually we have it right here. Let's jump right into opening it up. Okay, there's a couple different components that it comes with here. This is the actual part that mounts to the outside of the van. And then we have the internal mounting piece, which has the solar shade and the mosquito screen in it. And you can see there are some electronics built into this. Uh, this unit does get wired to power. And then there are a few packages with, uh, these look like the attachment brackets, uh, some of the tools you'll need, and then some of the plastic pieces that kind of finish it all out. So that's what's in the box. So the features of the Arctic Turn Skylight, um, it has integrated lighting, as you can see here. So when you power it up, flip the switch, automatically the lights come on. Uh, a really nice feature is the integrated blackout shade. Uh, so as you're sleeping, you can keep out all of the light from the outside. Um, also an integrated bug screen, so you can leave it open, not worry about bugs all night long. And then finally, electronically controlled opening mechanism. That's that. So this is, um, it's an acrylic skylight and it's also double paned. That's some of the other features about it. Um, double paned so that it doesn't get as cold as if it was a single pane window. And then being acrylic, I mean, it's not glass, so it doesn't break. Um, and there are some acrylic cleaners that Arctic Turn sells with this kit um, so that you can keep the acrylic looking um, clear and clean so you can see through it over time. Because obviously with this being in the direct sun, over time, the sun wants to degrade it and that acrylic cleaner will, will actually keep it clear, which is super nice. Um, so those are the features of the unit. Having a high bed like we're on now, you can open this up. It opens all the way 90 degrees or actually just shy of 90 degrees. So you wanna see what's going on and you have a higher bed. If you have a lower bed, you might not be able to see all the way out of it. Just a really cool feature to have here. It's especially nice if you're sleeping and the weather is nice to just open this up and pull the mosquito screen and then you have nice cool air. You can look at the stars, you can see where the moon is at. So um, I think that's why people like these. It just lets a little bit of the outside in. The installation of the skylight starts with basically measuring where you want it to be um, and marking out and cutting a hole. So step one, measure and cut the hole uh, for the skylight. Um, this is obviously a super critical step because you want it to be exactly where it needs to be. And actually we're interfacing with some things that are on the inside of the van. So I'm gonna measure about five times before I cut this. Um, but one of the things I wanted to show you is that when we do our installations of the Arctic Turn skylight, or the roof hatches actually, we use one of these roof adapters and you can see it has um, the ribs cut out to match the ribs on the roof of the van. So I can put this on generally where I want it to be. And now I have a completely flat surface to mount the skylight onto. Otherwise you're basically mounting it on top of ribs and then it becomes prone to leaking obviously. So this roof adapter does not come uh, with the skylight, it is an extra piece of equipment, um, but we think it's well worth it. It also helps me mark it out so I get a perfect cut. You also notice that we are taking out a max fan from this location and moving it forward and doing the skylight here. So as long as you're using the same area, you can actually do what we're doing. If you happen to have a fan and want to replace it, um, it should work. All right, so I've measured it multiple times, both from the top and the bottom. Now I'm gonna mark it out. Again, this roof adapter makes it great because it's essentially my template for marking my hole. The moment of truth, it's time to cut the hole. I'm confident in the placement right now. It's masked off, so now it's time to actually put the blade to the metal. We are using an air saw for this cut. The next step is we're going to put a grinding wheel on this just to clean up all the rough cut edges. Um, and you're actually able to like trim away parts that aren't perfectly straight to make a nice solid hole for this to mount in. And 
this is super critical. We're gonna apply a nice layer of rust protectant on all the edges that we just cut. This will definitely rust if you don't do this step. Now that our edge protectant is all dry, we're gonna put on the roof adapter. And what we like to do is use a window seal type material so that no water can get between the roof adapter and the roof and get inside the van. The roof adapter has been sealed on and that's all cured. So now it's time to actually install the skylight itself. Um, you do want to take a look and install the side with the harnesses and the motor towards the front of the van because the top will open in that direction. So if everything's been cut correctly, then you just set it in. There you go. Fits perfectly and so now we'll go to the inside of the van and attach this, actually clamp the skylight to the roof so that it doesn't move. All right, let's head down. The first step of securing the roof hatch uh, to the roof with the brackets is to make sure that all of the wires have been pulled down and are not tucked in between the skylight and the roof adapter. Especially small ones like this can get pinched in there. Just wanna make sure all of the wires that you're gonna need are free. We're gonna use this interior trim uh, to create the spacer between the skylight and the brackets that we need uh, to clamp it together. This does not come with the skylight. This is actually an additional piece that is sold with a roof adapter. So um, if you don't have one of these that you've purchased, then you actually need to make this out of uh, just wood or some people use 80-20 aluminum. But it's nice to have it come with the kit because then it's, it's ready to go. So what we do is stick this up here wedges between the, the ribs of the roof. Make sure it's nice and square with this so you want to get everything to line up. The next step is to take these clips, these black clips, and these are what uh, you use to hold everything together. So we're going to put the clip up there, run the screw through this. We'll start by going all the way around and just loosely putting these in first you really never want to tighten one of these all the way down until they're all in. It's just going to be so much easier to get them to line up if they're just kind of loosely attached. Now that we have all the brackets installed, the next step is to run these small screws into the bottom of the bracket here. That actually attaches it to your interior trim ring. Now we have all of the, these brackets here attached to the ring and attached to the skylight. Now it's time to go through and clamp it down. So the way you wanna do this is to start to put pressure on each of these and go around in a circle um, so that you're not clamping one side down completely before you get to the other. It's just easier if you do it kind of in stages. These screws tend to strip out. Um, as a matter of fact, I already stripped one on this job. So you want a bit that really fits inside the head. Ideally, these would be a different type of head than a Phillips head. Um, something like a Torx bolt would be better, but there's a lot of pressure that clamps this down and it's really easy for, um, for the drill bit to strip this out. So my technique is to put lots of upward pressure on it to not get it to slip because once it slips, it um, is gonna be hard to get back out and it's not gonna do the job. So let's give it a try. That's a slip. Now we have um, the skylight securely fastened down. Uh, we went around a couple times, tightened them up gradually so it has a really nice um, tight fit on it now. This is typically where you stop if you're continuing to build out your van. Um, before the, the final interior shroud goes up, it is best to have the ceiling place, obviously. Generally, you get to this point you go ahead and build out the rest of your roof and um, wire it in and then ultimately stick the, the final shroud up. Another thing we're gonna do on the roof is go around and put one course of lap sealant. There's a gap where the skylight sits on top of the roof adapter. There's a little gap there that it's possible water could get in, so we're gonna do a lap sealant around that to secure it, to make sure that it doesn't leak. 
because leaks are one of our least favorite things. Um, and so once that is done and dry, we'll also leak test this just to make sure. Before we get the ceiling up, before we do any of that other stuff, we just wanna make sure that this is done so we don't have to pull something down to fix a little leak at that time. When you go to wire in uh, the skylight here, this is the power wire coming from my panel um, to power the skylight. And there are these nice connectors that you can use here. They're just push connectors. So they're pretty easy. We're gonna take our positive wire and put it into this little hub here. Negative wire goes in here. When the trim goes up, there is an additional set of wires here. Another positive and negative that also need to go into the same hub. Once that is in, these connectors match up. You kind of can't go wrong. Just plug each of these into their respective connector. And that is how the whole thing is powered. Um, there is a fuse right here that uh, protects this motor. So as you put the shroud up, you wanna make sure that you, you kind of keep access to that if possible, because you might need to change that fuse at some point. We're not quite ready to put up the finished trim in my van. We still got a little bit of work to do on the ceiling. So we brought you back here just to show you the finished product. Um, this is what it looks like when it's all complete. This is just a really great addition to any van to bring in some more light and some fresh air and a way to kind of look outside from the inside of your van. So thank you guys so much again for watching this video. We hope you got something out of it and we will see you again next time.